Hi there, Connection Group leaders. This is Daniel Ray. Uh, Pastor Keith asked me to do a quick video here to help you know how to go live. Um, so if you would like to uh, teach a lesson this coming Sunday, uh, you could do so on video utilizing Facebook and all your connection group will be able to see you. So this is your home page or this is my home page I should say and over here to the left hand side you should have a shortcut to your connection group. Uh, some of you guys had connection group uh, pages, uh, your own page on Facebook uh, prior to this week and for those that didn't the church set you up with one this week which is great. Um, hopefully you're building your audience for that and uh, you know getting those friends invited so that they can all see what's happening with your group while we are separated um, in person we don't have to be separated in reality so we can use this technology to our advantage and it goes kind of like this so um, whatever your page looks like here all of them are going to have an area right in here where you can post something whether that's a prayer request a, you know funny little uh, meme or something else so right here is a little used option called live video and if you click on that it's actually going to take you instead of to a little post pop it's going to be to a whole different page and I'll show you how to get your settings just so uh, that it will be optimized for this now you'll notice that this black box down here to the right does not have my face in it which means that it is trying to use the wrong video it's trying to use stream keys and yours is probably going to default to the same thing but you need to change it to camera once you do that, boom, there's my face. Um, so it's going to default to your camera, uh, the FaceTime camera on a Mac for me. And then I've got an internal microphone that is a built-in microphone. Share screen's perfect. On these settings over here, you've got viewing. Allow viewers to rewind. i got no problem with people rewinding the video, so you can leave that checked. Disable live commentary. I want to leave that unchecked. I want people to be able to, to um, comment live. Um, it may be a little bit distracting to you. I know it was to me this past Sunday when we did this for the first time, but um, it, it's really nice to be able to receive feedback. I don't know about you, but sometimes I say something that's not quite clicking, you know, maybe I don't say it optimally. Uh, they can ask a question for clarification. They can add to or, or reference scripture or anything. Uh, it's, it's just awesome feature to have. Auto-generated captions, I usually leave that off, uh, unchecked that is, because I, I don't know, I've got an Oki accent and there's no telling what that might pop up with. So that's it for viewing. On the stream, this is actually more of a technical deal. In live video, if stream stops, um, doesn't matter much if you have that checked or unchecked. Um, you know, checked means that if you have an internet connection interruption that the video is automatically over. Um, and unchecked means it's going to try and reconnect you as soon as you get um, connection established back. Uh, allow embedding is fine. Uh, unpublish after live video ends. You want to leave that unchecked because what that means is the live video is only live and then when it's over it's over and nobody can go back and watch it again or watch it later. Um, this was helpful to some of my people if it just stays on your page. We had several people who, you know, either for time or connection sake or something else, they couldn't join us Sunday morning. They were able to watch it later and, um, you know, stay on the same page with us. Uh, go live for longer than eight hours? Um, I sure hope not. Otherwise, you're going to miss worship and, and the sermon and everything else that our church is going to do at 11. So if you start at 945 like usual, um, you're definitely not going to be going longer than eight hours. Um, so it doesn't matter if you check that box or don't. If you scroll back up and you kind of scroll hard to the top, hey, there I am. Um, this is what your page is going to look like before you, right before you go live. You want to stay on this setting here where it says go live now. It doesn't matter how many times you click that, that's not the button that's actually going to send you live. It's this blue button down here at the bottom that's actually going to send you live. Okay. And so I don't typically schedule a live video, or at least I didn't this past Sunday, um, but you certainly can if you want to put up a post now um, that will advertise the live video come Sunday, you're welcome to do that. Um, you would just click here, put that together by basically setting your date, setting your time for 945 Sunday morning, share in group. Um, what your group is here, you can add a title to that, you can add a longer description if you like, and then you would just click this big blue button to schedule live video uh, for 9.45 a.m. Sunday morning the 29th, or 
each uh, successive Sunday until we're able to meet in person again. But for now, you're going to be back on this go live now, and it defaults me back to this stream keys, so i got to change it to my camera. The rest of the settings should stay the same, but that, that one defaults to the wrong one every single time for me, and it may do that for you too. Um, from this top page, though, while you're on the go live now, um, just make sure that your your group setting is right. You don't want to put this on your personal page because you know you may have uh, tons of friends that that don't know what this is. Then your your connection group may have trouble finding it because it's not where they thought it would be. So make sure this says your connection group name right there, um, and just in a group. Then you can title it if you want or give a description. I don't name my uh, Sunday school lessons. Oops, there it is. Connection groups. What I meant to say. I don't name those, but if you do, you're you're welcome to put that or or something else in there. Whatever is appropriate for you and your group. When you push this blue button, it's going to give you a three second countdown. Three, two, one, and then everything that you say from then on and and every gesture that you make is all going to be live uh, to your group. And so that's one of the things that you want to watch out for and, and just know, you know, hey, it, it's all live in real time. It's not recorded. It's not tape delayed. So do it just like you were standing in front of, of your connection group. Um, when that blue button will turn red after once it's recording and then um, when you're done you know make sure that you tell them hey that's all we've got for this week pray with them if you like or however you typically like to close and then you'll push that red button and it will end it and then it'll give you a chance to give them some feedback uh, choose whether or not you want to save it or delete it um, of course save that you know again so that people can find it and watch it later anybody that had technical difficulties or um, scheduling conflict or something else. Um, maybe they were dealing with the, their kids or trying to help, uh, like us this past Sunday, trying to get the teenager on with the youth group at the same time and all that kind of stuff. So um, a lot of things going on. Um, so one other note, um, cameras, microphones, internal, external, there's a lot of us. I could not possibly in this one video uh, cover all the different things to that. What I can tell you is if you're having trouble with it uh, from a technical side and, and it's not something that you can just Google up and, and figure out, uh, you can call the church office. Um, you're welcome to, to email me. I'd be glad to help if I can. My email is danielray405 at gmail.com. And so if you want to email me, then you're welcome to. I'll, I'll help you out best I can. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's really all that there is to it. You know, making sure that you're on there, whether or not you schedule a video is up to you, but you just click this go live button on your connection group page and then click the red, when it turns red, click it again to end it. And then everything else you have, uh, they should be able to see. So um, that's it for that. Um, it's really a great resource, a great tool. It worked well for us. We had two people uh, that couldn't join. They, they thought that maybe people in their area were um, overloading the internet, you know, what they were watching their church services or, or crazy cat videos. I don't know, but um, hopefully it was all church related. And uh, all the rest, we had 40 something people that were able to tune in um, to our group this past Sunday. So, um, you know, that was great. A lot, a lot more um, were successful in it than, than had trouble with it. So, and again, if you leave that post up, then those that missed it Sunday morning maybe can catch it at a later time uh, when there's left, less traffic, uh, internet traffic in their area. So if you have questions about this, um, again, feel free to reach out to me. That email one more time is danielray405 at gmail.com. And, of course, you can uh, contact the church office. And, uh, you know, there are people there that can uh, help out with various things as well. And, uh, man, I hope this goes. That was a great tool. I know that it worked well for us, and I trust it will for you too. Um, God's using this thing. It's crazy that something, you know, as, as terrible as uh, this virus seems to be, uh, God's using it for good, and he's streamlining our processes. He's given us opportunities to, um, you know, refine the ways that we communicate with one another, and that's going to be more diverse after this uh, than it was before, and, and those are good things. So uh, I do look forward to seeing you uh, when the time comes, uh, when, when we get that opportunity again, but until then, I hope this works really well for you. Thanks.